It begins with a blast. Faro Mine Site and Mill sit 380 kilometers northeast of Whitehorse. They call it the road to the future. <laughs> my wife's hometown of Faro Yukon. Interesting thing, there's no open liquor law in Faro. Chateau Gemini is one of many buildings built to house the influx of mining workers in the 70s and early 80s, slowly becoming abandoned until the mines ceased production altogether in 1998. They've been condemned ever since. In case you missed that, that was the school connected to the rec center, connected to the liquor store. I love Faro Patty. So there's the bank. Patty's aunt is the banking teller person for the town, I guess. What used to be here, Patty? Um, a dentist office, a bakery, a little convenience store, the post office, conservation office, um, yeah, hair salon at one time. Interesting. So this building behind me used to be the theater? Okay, so we stayed at that hotel the night we got married and <laughs> Patty actually we stopped there we were driving a golf cart Patty was in her wedding dress we stopped there and Patty had soup because she was starving Marvin and um, the last time I ate there I got a burger and it had two top buns didn't even have a bottom bun man I'm a burger purist so I was pretty choked there's a lot more people that live here up on this road when I than when I lived here like 20 years ago um, there was maybe only two or three houses that people lived in, and now there's like, looks like at least 10. This is like an all-in-one store. With a wood fireplace. Regular hours tomorrow, close Sunday. 
yeah. got a YouTube channel. Oh. Yeah, so I thought, this is like the, to me, someone from the West Coast to come up here. It's so cool, so I love Pharaoh. Yeah, it's my favorite. <laughs> Bandy's like, I hate Pharaoh. <laughs> no, she likes it too. really surprised it's open today because it is Good Friday. Happy Easter to you if that's something you care about. At the very least you get chocolate for it. But yeah, they're open. Perfect timing. So here's the Faro gas station. Self-serve, of course. I got a good feeling about this one, man. I might just buy it. I don't know. have a street that's almost completely abandoned and then it's punctuated with you know a few houses here and there where people live or up until recently when the city purchased a lot of these abandoned buildings people were actually using them as storage While Faro's economic future may remain uncertain, it's obvious that the town's strong sense of community and affinity for outdoors living will persist indefinitely. The town of Faro truly is Yukon's best kept secret. <laughs>